hello and welcome to my youtube channel Chemwiz. in this video we are going to learn nourish type 2 reaction when an aldehyde or ketone having gamma hydrogen is irradiated it goes to excited singlet state which after intersystem crossing can go to excited triplet state both the excited states can undergo gamma hydrogen abstraction like this to produce 1,4 di radical. There are three possible transformations from 1,4 di radical. The two radicals can join together to produce cyclobutanol derivative. It can undergo beta gamma CC bond fission to produce alkene and enol. The enol then converts to more stable tautomeric keto form. The third possibility is that the alkyl radical at gamma carbon can abstract hydrogen from hydroxy group to produce a starting ketone. So, if the gamma carbon of the starting ketone is chiral, there will be racemization at the center by this process. The second photoelimination process has been known for a long time as nourish type 2 reaction. Now we will discuss these three processes with examples one by one. Let's first discuss factors that favor formation of cyclobutanol. These factors are alpha substitution, large ring size of ketone, presence of heteroatom at beta position and rigid system where photoelimination is inhibited due to the formation of a strained alkene. For example, compound 1. It has two methyl substituents at alpha carbon. So, upon irradiation, it will give cyclobutanol derivative as the major product. Compound 2. This is an example of 12-membered cyclic ketone. So, upon irradiation, it will also favor cyclization between delta between gamma carbon and carbonyl carbon to produce this bicyclic alcohol. Compound 3. It has nitrogen as a heteroatom at the beta position. So, cyclization between the beta, cyclization between the gamma carbon and carbonyl carbon will be favored to produce agitidine derivative. Compound 4. Upon irradiation, it will produce 1,4 di radical. If there is photoelimination, it will produce this strained alkene which violates breadth rule. So, the alkene formation is restricted. Thus, cyclization will be favored and give rise to tricyclic alcohol. Compound 5. In this compound, there are two keto groups, 1 and 2. With respect to them, there are two types of gamma carbons with hydrogen atoms, gamma 1 and gamma 2. Abstraction of hydrogen from gamma 1 and gamma 2 will respectively give tertiary and primary free radicals. Since tertiary free radical is more stable than primary, so hydrogen abstraction from gamma 1 will selectively be so the hydrogen from gamma 1 will be selectively abstracted to give this 1,4 di radical. Since alpha position is substituted, so it will give cyclized product. Photocyclization from the points other than gamma carbon. Di radicals other than 1,4 di radical don't give photoelimination product. So, if there is no hydrogen at gamma carbon or gamma carbon is absent, 
photocyclization from the delta or epsilon carbon having hydrogen is the efficient process. For example, compound 6 doesn't have gamma carbon but it has delta carbon with hydrogen. So, upon irradiation, it will form 1,5 diradical which will cyclize to produce 2 pyrrolidone derivative. One more example of this type is compound 7. It doesn't have gamma carbon but does have delta carbon with hydrogen. So, upon irradiation, it will form 1,5 diradical which will cyclize to produce tetrahydrofuran derivative. In few cases, cyclization occurs from beta position even though hydrogen is present at delta position. For example, compound 8. There are beta and delta hydrogen both but upon irradiation, beta proton gets abstracted to produce 1,3 diradical which cyclizes to produce cyclopropanol derivative. If beta, gamma and delta hydrogens are absent, then abstraction occur from epsilon position. For example, compound 9. These are beta, gamma, delta and epsilon positions and we can see that beta, gamma and delta positions don't have any hydrogen but epsilon has. So, upon irradiation, epsilon hydrogen will be abstracted to produce 1,6 diradical which will cyclize to produce 2,3 diphenyl chromane 3 all. Compound 10. In this example, we will learn proximity effect. It has beta, gamma, delta and epsilon hydrogen but the epsilon hydrogen gets abstracted as in major conformations it is close to carbonyl oxygen. Thus, upon irradiation, epsilon hydrogen abstraction of epsilon hydrogen gives 1,6 diradical which after cyclization gives bicyclo 4.4.0 decan 1 all. Photoisomerization of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls. Acyclic alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds upon irradiation get converted to beta gamma unsaturated carbonyl isomer. For example, compound 11. It has gamma hydrogen. Upon irradiation, it gets abstracted by carbonyl oxygen to produce 1,4 diradical, which after electronic rearrangement like this gives conjugated dienol that undergoes tautomerization to produce beta gamma unsaturated ketone. This process is more efficient in the presence of weak base like pyridine. This isomerization also occurs in esters and acids. For example, crotonic acid 12 upon irradiation isomerizes to isocrotonic acid which has gamma hydrogen close to carbonyl oxygen. Thus, abstraction of gamma hydrogen gives 1 for diradical which after electronic rearrangement gives buta 1 3 di in 1 1 diol. This di in diol then tautomerizes to beta gamma unsaturated acid. Orthoalkyl benzophenone, for example, orthomethyl benzophenone upon irradiation undergoes similar isomerization to produce di enol which doesn't tautomerize it to beta gamma isomer rather it reverts back to static material the overall result 
is the degradation of light to thermal energy and this type of reaction forms the basis of method of protection against the solar radiation. The evidence for the formation of diphenol comes from the fact that when dimethyl fumarate, a diphenophile is added to the reaction mixer, a Diels elder adduct is isolated in good yields. Now we will discuss second process which is photoelimination which has been known for a longer time and is often referred to as nourish type 2 reaction. It is favored by beta substitution. For example, compound 14. It has hydrogen at gamma carbon and beta carbon is fully substituted. So, it will give photo elimination product as the major product. Upon irradiation, abstraction of gamma hydrogen by oxygen will give 1 for diradical, which after cleavage of beta gamma bond will give enol and isobutene. The enol after tautomerism will give more stable acetophenone. Compound 15. In this molecule, there, there are three types of gamma carbons with hydrogen. Gamma 1, Gamma 2 and Gamma 3. But the hydrogen attached to Gamma 2 is closest to carbonyl oxygen in space. So, it will be abstracted to produce 1,4 diradical. Here, we can see that alpha carbon is not fully substituted and beta carbon has two substituents. So, breaking up beta gamma bond will be favored to produce the photo elimination product in enolic form which will convert to more stable keto form that can also be drawn like this. Stereo specificity and stereo selectivity in nourish type 2 reaction. Aryl alkyl ketones generally react through excited triplet state while dialkyl ketones through both the singlet and triplet excited states. Reaction with singlet excited state is stereo-specific and stereo-selective. So, in the presence of triplet quencher, nourish type 2 reaction of dialkyl ketones is stereo-specific and stereo-selective. For example, Erythroisomer of compound 16 after irradiation in the presence of triplet quencher gives acetone and E isomer of alkene, while 3O isomer of compound 16 after irradiation in the presence of triplet quencher gives acetone and Z isomer of alkene. Now come to the third possibility of reaction of 1,4 diradical which is abstraction of OH hydrogen by radical carbon at gamma position and formation of pi bond between carbon and oxygen. This leads to the starting material or a racemic mixture at the gamma carbon if it is chiral. For example, this enantiomerically pure ketone having chiral center at gamma carbon upon irradiation gets converted to a racemic mixture. The explanation for this observation is that upon irradiation there is the formation of 1,4 diradical A which equilibrate to form diradical B with opposite configuration at gamma carbon. Now hydrogen abstraction from OH by alkyl radical and formation of a pi bond between C and O in A and B gives a racemic mixture. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.